So, I felt like this episode we mainly focused on Rain's past and, you know, what happened to him. So, pretty much he he was raised by beast tamers and he grew up in a village where beast tamers would gather. And that would explain why he knows so many advanced beast tamer skills that ordinary beast tamers don't know about. Or, you know, why he has such a high potency for, you know, the Beast Hammer art or skill. But anyways, he explains that, yeah, while I was, you know, training on the training grounds, a group of monsters pretty much destroyed the village. And, you know, when I came back, the village was on fire and everything. And I ended up being picked up by... Um, the adventurers and pretty much they adopted me and you know I had to pretty much work my entire life just so I can live with him like do simple chores I guess then he tells this to you know his his uh, um, his companions because they want us because they asked and everything but um, yeah I just feel like um, the group, but the group of monsters he was talking about, the ones who attacked his village, are, are probably the ones like, the heroes were supposed to, you know, guard, the the village or you know eliminate the monsters before they could do something, drastic like that. But, um. I guess they like either escaped or they um the heroes just deemed it like not a worthy enough job for them, so they like ignored it. Um, and this is all assuming their uh, attitude that we see currently in the show. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, but I do hope that they reveal that if that's true or not. But moving on. Um, the other thing I do want to mention before I get to then was that while Rain and Tanya, his dragon spirit, they were sleeping and Tanya realized, you know, he, she has feelings toward Rain, like, um, you know, she explains that I can't get Rain's face off my mind and whenever I think about it, my chest, um, you know, gets warm inside, so... To me, that in the case that she has feelings for him, romantic, but of course she goes to Sundre and she tries to ignore these feelings or pretend like she doesn't have them in the first place. Pretty much trying to get, trying to be hard to get. But, um, yeah, that just shows the relationship that they're getting closer together, and I do wonder. If Kai did, the cat spirit will also feel that way eventually. Um, the last thing I did want to mention was towards end. So while he was, you know, taking a walk with um, his companion Tanya and Kai did, they stumbled, they crossed paths with uh, the hero's party. And so I do wonder what he. That's where the episode ends, by the way. But I do wonder how he will reject. So I think what will happen is he will obviously reject them. And considering how the heroes party, they don't like when someone tells them, no, you can't or something. I feel like they're the type of group to get really e emotional. And they'll like end up trying to fight Rain and... I'm thinking due to the fact he has contacted, you know, two spirits, two ultimate uh, races. I feel like he, Rain would ultimately win, but it will be very interesting how this this kind of talk goes, you know, and their reactions. It'll be, you know, I predict that they'll probably fight, but I mean. Anything can kind of happen, maybe, like, oh, 
they don't want to fight because they'll know they'll lose or you know who knows but um yeah obviously this episode really got me excited for next episode i think it was a pretty solid episode for what it was it wasn't anything big it was it was i guess it was okay but the big episode would be next episode where we might see you know rain versus the heroes party and see how that escalates but um yeah that's i think that's gonna be it for me please leave a like subscribe and comment your thoughts and opinions Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.